just a few moments ago, uh, Blackjack Mulligan was hospitalized for several days, and uh, after an incident occurred regarding Kevin Sullivan, and uh, luckily our uh, camera crew was able to go to his bedside and uh, conduct an interview with Blackjack Mulligan, and a uh, very, very uh, interesting turn of events. Let's go to that uh, interview at this time. Ladies and gentlemen, I'd like to explain just for a few minutes some of the things that have happened to myself and to my family. And you get a very, very rare opportunity to come into my home today because I've just been released from the hospital and I'm sitting here with some of the people that are very close and have always been close to us and very dear to me. And I think the whole world needs to know and an explanation needs to be given to what has happened to the family. Now, Kevin Sullivan, there's been some accusations that you have been directly involved in my going to the hospital. Well, you know that you are. Not a question of a doubt. And you know, in some things that happen in this life, some people have to be sacrificed. And the devil thinks that the whole family is being torn asunder and being spread all over this world. Well, you're very mistaken because in what you've caused and what you've done and the grief that you've caused this family, it's just revert, worked in a reverse for you because what's fixing to happen to you, Kevin Sullivan, brother, is coming down on you. Judgment's coming down on you like it's never come before. And if Jack Mulligan has to be the one sacrificed, I'll be the one. But Cindy moves back with us, and she's got you know, some things she wants to say today, and I want her to get it off her heart. Cindy. Thank you, Black Jack. I just came to say that I'm sorry about what I put you and Kendall through. The things I've done to you, the things that I've caused to happen to both you and him both. And you know, deep in, deep in your heart, I didn't mean to do any of those things. But I just would like for y'all to forgive me for everything I've done to y'all. And also, I'd like to special thanks to Superstar Billy Graham for him taking my side, standing to my side, stopping the animal from doing who knows what to me. I knew deep down inside that he was always the man that I thought he was, and he proved that to everybody by what he did. And Jack, also I want to say that I'm sorry. I'm sorry for injuries that happened to you and Superstar that was caused due to my fault, and uh, I feel that I'm responsible in some ways, and I appreciate everything that uh, you've done, you, Kendall, and everybody, to help me, to help me get my mind back together, and that's what I'm trying to do now, and um, I'd just like to say that uh, I think I need some time to uh, to just go by myself and, and rid myself of well, things. Don't you worry about it, and I'm going to tell you something right now. Brother, if that don't get your heart, then nothing will. Cindy Lou, we, there's no problem, don't worry about it at all, because to, to forgive and forget, and let me tell you something, if you can't forgive, you cannot be forgiven, and that's something everybody in this whole world needs to remember right now. But something that even excites my heart right now, I'm going to tell you something. September the 23rd in Orlando, the family is coming together, and the foundation of the devil is starting to fall apart at its very seams. You can feel it. Dusty Rhodes is going to be there. But, brother, something that chills, that sends chills up your spine is it taking my place right there in Orlando in front of all my people and pick up trucks and all that stuff. It's going to be Barry Wyndham, live and live in color. And he's going to wrestle you, Kevin Sullivan, and I'm going to tell you something. I'd give anything in the world, Cindy Lou, if I could be there. And I'll guarantee you all the good people right now that judgment is coming down on Kevin Sullivan's head, and it's coming down like it ought to be coming down. Thank you, Jack. Thank you, Kendall. I love y'all so much. Thank you for forgiving me. 